Mm. Go. So we are right now in in Vijapur Taluka of our steady area, and uh, the name of this village is Kukar. Kukar subdivision. In Kukarwara subdivision. Now these are the two linemen who operate the electricity uh, distribution in this area. And we are trying to assess, we are trying to understand what are the farmers, uh, what, how do farmers behave to the declining tables, water tables, as well as to limited availability of energy, and how does that impact some of these farming practices and the cropping systems that they have in this area. So, this is, uh, this is our understanding, is that uh, the water tables are declining at a heavy, at a, at a very fast rate, and uh, about 20 years back, the water tables were somewhere close to 200 feet below the ground water, below the ground surface. And now, these are somewhere around 450 feet below the ground surface. Which means that 25 feet per year has been the decline in the water tables. On now, the impact on the cropping system is that this particular farmer who we just interviewed was growing roses. Uh, about few years back, but because of variability in the rainfall and uncertainties in the rainfall, he has now shifted to a long duration crop, which is known as cotton, in local terms, kapas. And uh, so this has been one impact. On the income side, uh, Ram? I, I just think what's interesting about coming here to talk to the farmers directly is, you know, we do all these calculations and we did a long study, we did all these calculations about income and drops in water tables and it's really interesting when you come here and you talk to the farmers and it, it confirms mostly, largely speaking, it confirms the results of your calculations. So that's very reassuring. Yeah. And I, it, yeah, that's, that's completely, um, you know, agreeable and, that, and what we found actually is based on what came out from the calculations we did that the net income of the farmer right now is on an average something around anywhere between 15,000 to 30 or 40,000 rupees and which is very much which is equal, equivalent to the amount of subsidy that he receives from energy or electricity alone and also we discussed with the farmer the strategy of restructuring the subsidy if suppose he would receive some kind of a compensation but not the subsidy. Is farmer open to that kind of a strategy or not? We wanted to assess that. And our feeling is that the farmer over here who we interviewed is open to that kind of a strategy and that he could certainly think and look at that particular option of receiving direct uh, subsidy and, uh, uh, you know, instead of having the subsidy routed through the electricity company uh, in form of uh, in form of the duration of electricity supply. In fact, everybody we talked to today was very open okay. and supported this idea. Yeah. So this is a this is something that is worth testing over here, and uh, and what we want to do in the future is we conduct a we conduct a very focused and uh, a <coughs> farmer survey over here and try to understand uh, the views of the farmer with regard to some of these aspects. And आप यहाँ कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे? आपको क्या लगता है यहाँ पे यहाँ पे जो बिजली है यहाँ पे बिजली जो मिल रही है लोगों को अच्छी तरह से मिल रही है रोज बैकअप होती है कभी बंद नहीं होती आठ करलक किसान को बिजली मिल रही है और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कंपनी का एम्प्लॉयज इज वेरी गुड एनीवे ऑन टाइम कभी भी कभी भी लाइट चालू <laughs> what he's saying is that the quality of supply and reliability of the supply has increased now and they make sure that the quality which is provided given to the farmers is good. They get eight hours of continuous supply of electricity uh, and these as, uh, you know, as line workers working in the electricity department are trying to ensure that they get good quality electricity in those eight hours without much fluctuations in the voltages. MC Satwara is lineman, <coughs> FSTEC is lineman, already office Office is Kukarwara. Yeah. So their office is in Kukarwara, which is a subdivision actually. The substation is in Kukarwara.
ओके बट आपने कभी यहाँ पे सोचा है कि जो आप आठ घंटे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी देते हैं उसके वजह से पानी कितना नीचे जा रहा है कभी सोचा है इस बारे में पानी के बारे में हाँ हम जाते हर बोर पर जाते हैं लाइन पे जाते हैं तो सब किसान लोग बोलते हैं कि पानी इतना इतना कम गया नहीं पर जैसे यहाँ पे अभी आप जैसे फाइव पांच आपने यहाँ पे बोर वेल्स बना रखे हैं जिनको आपने पचास सत्तर एसपी दे रहे हैं तो कभी पानी के बारे में नहीं सोचा दे हैव फाइव पावर बोर वेल्स ओवर हेयर विच आर ऑफ सेवेंटी एचपी ही So what we are trying to understand from him is that when they decided to have these five deep bore wells of high power inputs of 70 HP each, didn't they think of the water levels over here which are anyway declining, so they could decline at a faster rate rate at the future? Did you? आपने कभी सोचा नहीं पानी के बारे में कि पानी इतने पास पास bore wells बना दी तो और नीचे जल्दी जाएगा वो? नहीं वो तो क्या वो गर्मी ज़्यादा होती है बारिश नहीं करता तो पानी नीचे जाता है तो क्या कोलम उतारते हैं तो पानी फिर से जितना होता है इतना होता है मगर जैसे जैसे वक्त ज्यादा पानी नीचे जाता है तो इट डज सीन दैट दिस नो नॉट नॉट मच हॉट हैज बीन गिवन टू द साइटिंग ऑफ दीज बोर वेल्स बट द सेम टाइम द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ वाटर इज वेरी हाई इन दिस एरिया सो वन बोरवेल इज एबल टू सप्लाई अराउंड फाइव हेक्टेयर्स फोर टू फाइव हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ लैंड द डिमांड इज हाई बट द साइटिंग ऑफ बोर वेल्स इट सीन हैज नॉट बीन डन इन अकॉर्डिंग टू द एक्वर कंडीशन और इन अकॉर्डिंग टू द Decline, you know, to arrest the decline of the water table. I mean, just imagine that right here, when we are standing in a radius of like 30 meters around us, there are five pumps. Each of them, how many HP extra? Six or seven to six or maybe sixty-seven horsepower each. So there's three hundred and fifty horsepower pumping water here all the time. Constantly, twenty meters from here. That's it. From 600 feet depth. So just think, 350 horsepower continuously pumping water from a depth of more than 100 feet. Nothing else needs to be said. I think.